We are back with another day of the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 Countdown. And the number 66 team in the country, we have the College of Charleston Cougars. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College of Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. This past season, Pat Kelsey and Charleston put the college basketball world on notice, winning 31 total games. They even spent a few weeks in the top 25 polls, climbing as high as 18th. While I personally don't think they ever should have been ranked, it's still obvious to see how good of a CAA team Charleston was. They won the CAA tournament and fell to San Diego State the eventual national runner-ups in a round of 64 in a closely fought game. Kelsey has shown through his coaching career that he can get talent from anywhere, regardless of division or level. He had to show it this offseason once again as lots of Charleston's top players exhaust their eligibility. Ryan Larson, Pat Robinson, Dalton Bowen, and Jalen Scott, all significant contributors, were the ones to exhaust their eligibility. They also lost some solid bench players as Raquan Horton transferred to James Madison, and Bobby Carfai transferred to Western Kentucky. Despite those losses, Kelsey still got some solid players back, one of them being Ante Berzovich, a former Division II transfer who was on the CAA All-Conference team. Berzovich is a high usage player, taking over 30% of Charleston shots when on the floor. He is also a high level rebounder, being the top five in both offensive and defensive rebounding percentage in the conference. Kelsey continued to trend of taking elite Division II players when he took West Liberty star Bryce Butler, continuing the West Liberty pipeline started by Bowen and Robinson. Butler was a main reason they made a D2 national championship game, putting up 22.4 points, 7.6 rebounds, and 3.6 assists per game, all in very efficient scoring. He was named a D2 first team All-American, and his success should carry over to Charleston. Butler wasn't the only player from a D2 powerhouse Kelsey took. He also got a commitment from D2 champion Nova Southeastern guard, Kobe Rogers. Rogers started every game and averaged 13.2 points in addition to being a pest and defensive end with 2.4 steals per game. Another impact player returning is Australian guard Rain Smith. He's known as a three-point shooter, taking 257 shots from deep last season. While he wasn't as efficient as you'd like, he's still someone you can always have to guard on the perimeter. At the point guard position, Charleston will likely look towards Lafayette transfer C.J. Fulton. Fulton had an assist rate of 30.8% last season and averaged 5 assists per game. He can also shoot the ball from deep, connecting on an efficient 38.7%. The last transfer Kelsey brought in was Stony Brook forward Frankie Policelli. He really had a breakout season in terms of rebounding the ball, averaging 9.4 rebounds per game, when his highest average in seasons past was 4.5. He's a solid three-level scorer as well, and we should see those efficiencies go up while playing with a better team. The other returner who played last year for the Cougars is Ben Burnham. In conference play last year, he was an incredibly efficient scorer, shooting over 60% from inside the arc and 56% from three-point range, accumulating a true shooting percentage of 70%. Charleston also has three redshirt freshmen returning, which is rare to have so many players redshirt in the modern era. They are all guards, and Jordan Crawford, Cleo London, and Evan Kilminster. Kelsey also added two incoming freshmen to the team. The big get is Meyer Wool, a power forward ranked 114th on 24-7 sports. Although he's listed as a forward, he has guard skills, including being a very good three-point shooter off the dribble. If Charleston is able to hang on to him for a few years, he has a very high ceiling. The other addition is center James Scott, who is an athletic big with good shot blocking and dunking abilities. Overall, I really like what Pat Kelsey did with the roster during the offseason. He's shown the ability to win, getting talent from everywhere, so he didn't hesitate and continue to take players from those lower levels. I think Bryce Butler will be one of, if not the best player in the conference, and will help the Cougars earn back in production or losses from last year. I have Charleston ranked first in the CEA, and honestly, it's not really that close between second, as Hofstra no longer has Aaron Estrada. While they're clearly in a league of their own, the teams worth keeping an eye on are Drexel, Hofstra, Towson, and UNC Wilmington. Charleston fans, comment below your thoughts and where you'd personally have the Cougars ranked. We will be back tomorrow for the number 65 team in the country, 
subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.